So today I wanted to speak directly to the light worker and healer that is sick of providing quote unquote band-aid solutions for their clients. So today I wanted to speak directly to the light worker and healer that is sick of providing quote unquote band-aid solutions for their clients. I see this happening so much within the industry with healers and light workers when they are really nickel and diming their rate and they keep lowering the cost of their services in order to attract more clients because that's what they feel they need to do in order to find a client. And in actuality, what you're really doing is you're pushing your soulmate clients that really want the deep transformational work away. And you're attracting people that are not truly willing to invest in themselves. And they're not truly looking for a transformation. Instead, they're just looking for a quick fix or a band-aid solution. And they end up reaching out to you, the healer, the light worker, every single time something goes wrong or something you know, triggers them, but then they're right back again for another very low investment session that they don't really have to invest too much in to get another band-aid solution and quick fix. They are not ready for a full-on transformation and they are not ready to invest in themselves. And because of that, they flock to super low-end offers and on the flip side of that, they flock and are attracted to teachers and healers that undervalue the services that they offer and don't know how to position themselves and package their services in a way that really demands investment from the individual. To invest in something means you value something. I want you to think about that. When you pay for something or when you invest your time with something or your energy with something, you are investing in yourself and you are basically saying, my personal growth, my spiritual growth, my business growth is important to me. If you're not willing to invest in something, then you're not going to take it seriously. If I hired a personal trainer that was $20 an hour, it would be really easy for me to skip that session. When I hire a trainer that's $120 an hour, it's a little different. I don't necessarily want to skip that session. It holds me more accountable. I'm investing in myself. I up level to a whole new level. Now, I'm not proposing that you have to price yourself high necessarily. And I'm not saying you have to price yourself out of the market either. But what I am saying is that there is a market for clients that truly want a deep transformation with you. And then there is a market for clients that specifically are just looking for a band-aid quick fix. And if you want to position yourself as the coach and healer and light worker that is able to help someone that truly wants a deep transformation. Part of your job is to get your clients, offer your clients, be available for your clients to invest in themselves, not only monetarily, but also energetically and with their time. And if you're not doing that, then they don't have enough skin in the game to withstand some of the sabotage that's going to kick up as they go through the transformational journey. Instead, they go away, they get their quick fix, they get their band-aid solution, they go through the same patterns over and over again, and then they come back to tell their victim story to you over and over again and get another quick fix band-aid solution. Remember, the victim that the ego identifies with is going to want to tell its story to anyone that will listen because the ego validates itself through the victim story. And if the person is highly identified with the victim story, the last thing the ego is going to want to do is, is alleviate that story. So what do they do? They seek out people that will be willing to listen to their victim story without really helping them transform. Because if you actually started to help them transform, that's not something that they're ready to do yet, then um, they would be... Uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? If your transformational program really triggered them to transform and they're not ready to do that yet, then they wouldn't be a match for you to begin with. But when you put yourself in that position, then that you are a match for them to come invent their victim story and to do a very low, low, minimal investment um, and get a very low, minimal to non transformational result. Now this has nothing to do with your ability as a healer and teacher because it's not your job to be the 911 bus and save everybody. People have to be willing to step up and do their own work. In order for you to be a teacher and a healer to help somebody, you will probably already know they actually heal themselves, but you hold the sacred space and yes, you are a conduit and yes, you are a facilitator and yes, you are a channel and a vessel, but ultimately, the person has to want to change. The person has to want growth. The person wants has to want transformation. And if they are low investment, they're going to be low effort. And if they're low effort, they're also low energy. They're also minimal results. And you know what? If you're watching this video and you are in the market to really help someone get deep transformational results and really transform their life and you're sick of seeing people come to you like a revolving door for a very minimal low investment that keeps them coming back but really gets no overall growth or transformation and doesn't help them on their ascension journey, then it's time to position yourself differently and it's time to package your services differently and it's time to stop lowering your rates now this does not mean again that you have to price yourself super high um, like I said there's a market for everybody you have to decide who you want to attract and who you want to work with this also does not imply that you don't lead with generosity I for example, and a lot of the coaches and teachers and healers I know that are crushing it online, they give so much value for free. I just got off two strategy sessions and the woman told me that I gave her more value on that one hour strategy session than she received in six months of coaching. I over deliver on my strategy sessions. I give so much for free because I know that the soulmate clients that are meant to work for me are gonna be guided to work with me and I don't have to do anything other than show up and lead with heart, lead with intention and lead with generosity. 90% of the content that I create, such as the video or audio, if you happen to listen to this on the podcast, that you are watching right now is free. 90% of the content I create for my business is free. 10% of the content I charge a premium for. Now, there are people that are not ready to work with you. There are people that are not ready to invest in themselves and they're not really truly ready to do the work, but they are willing to sign up for your beta programs. They are willing to take a free coaching call. They are willing to buy your super, super low, low investment offer that has no way, shape or form of actually supporting you in your mission work, let alone just covering your overhead or bills. Um, and so you have to recognize that there's still information that you can be giving to people that aren't ready to invest in themselves so that they can be ready one day to invest in themselves. And so I always recommend leading with generosity. I always recommend putting out content for free. I always recommend being overly generous with the content that you give and going above and beyond uh, with, the, with the impact that you make with the people that are divinely guided to you and placed in front of you and having plenty of free resources for people that want access to you that don't necessarily have the means or the time or the energy or the commitment to invest in themselves at this time. And then you create a program and position yourself in a way that really allows people that are ready to do the work and get the transformation that they truly do desire to get the transformation that they truly desire with you. But you have to make yourself available for that. You have to stop nickel and diming your services if and not valuing your services and the transformation that you offer if you want to stop attracting people that don't value your services or the, or the transformation that you offer. Okay, so this isn't that, and I know a lot of spiritual teachers, light workers, and healers might believe that, you know, you're just supposed to give everything away for free and never charge for your gift and never charge for what it is that you want to create in the world. And you know what? 
that's perfectly fine too if that's what you're feeling called to do. There are plenty of light workers and healers that are not being called to entrepreneurship as the vehicle to get their gift and their message out into the world. And if that's the case, that's the case for them and that's perfectly fine. But if you are being called to use entrepreneurship as a vehicle to get your gift and message out in the world so you don't have to work a nine to five and you don't have to work a corporate job that sucks the life out of you and you don't have to keep doing things that drain your energy and so you can focus on your purpose work 100%. Ask yourself this question, which, which, um, which path allows you to be in service to the highest and greatest good is it one where you get to do your healing business just a little bit of the time on the side um and have it uh and, and while your energy is drained doing something else you don't love or are you in better service to the divine by showing up every day in love with what you do abundantly supporting people that are electively choosing to work with you right and putting out free content to the masses for everybody else that's in vibrational frequency to hear your message. Which one aligns you to your highest path? I see so many spiritual entrepreneurs that have a hang up with actually charging for their services. And you know why? It's because they're not structuring it in a way that is leading from generosity to begin with. Instead, they're, they're, um, they're also taking on the obligation and it's their job to save everybody and you can't. It's your job to show up in your light and abundantly support yourself and show others by the clarity of your own example that you get to create your life by design and you get to have it all and you don't have to sacrifice. Your past doesn't have to dictate your future and that you can break the mold in any pattern uh, that you so choose. And this is truly, truly what I believe when you're building out a soul aligned success business. You do not have to sacrifice in any other area of your life in order to be of divine service. You get to thrive in all areas of your life when you're willing to accept that and accept the worthiness um, of yourself, your services, your gift, what you bring to the table, and just the massive impact that you're here to make. So I wanted to leave you with that. I hope this really resonates with you. Um, if it does, please leave your questions or comments below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. If this really resonates with you and you are ready to stop with the Band-Aid fixes and the, you know, just Band-Aid solutions that clients are coming to you for and seeing the patterns over and over again when your heart and soul is telling you that you really want to help people transform their life. You've done it, you have the tools, and you don't want to get stuck just offering Band-Aid solutions and leaving people hanging when you know that there are people out there that really do deeply desire the transformation that you're offering. So if that's you and you're ready to make a massive impact, scale your business so you can make a global impact, work with clients from all over the world, from anywhere in the world, and really create the freedom lifestyle that you desire, uh, that is what I specialize in. And my Soul Line Success Masterclass is below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. So feel free to hop on that. And if that resonates, you will be invited to hop on a free 60-minute strategy session with me. So I hope this video finds you well. And if you have any questions, let me know. I look forward to tuning in with you again very soon. Namaste.